Here we have a new 2023 Chevrolet Traverse. This one comes in the 1LT cloth trim level in the beautiful Silver Sage Metallic on chai cloth interior. And then the powertrain consists of a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine made into a 9 speed automatic transmission. Coming around to the front here, we do get LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. And they don't flash like that, that's just my camera picking them up. Really like the styling here, and this Sage really goes with anything, honestly, but I love how it goes with this mirror finish. You have black plastic here, but still a really good look just from the grill design. And then down here, we do get 18-inch aluminum wheels. Passive keyless entry on all four doors. Power door locks, power windows, one touch up and down auto for the driver's side. And then we have our window locks here, power mirror controls there, pocket here, pocket here, cup holder there. And then we can set our rear lift gate and then we can hit the button to get it up and down. So I'll do that now. And there's our power driver's seat with power lumbar support. So pretty good leg room here. I'm six foot three and I have the seat in front of me adjusted for someone of my size. Seat pockets back here. Rear AC controls here and there's an auto mode. Then vents are up here. Hang your clothes there. And there's our third row. And then I forgot two USB ports down there as well. So let's check out this window sticker. So here are all of your standard features. And then definitely recommend the convenience and driver confidence package. It's $12.95. You get the heated seats, remote start, power lift gate, etc. And this sticker is right at $40,015. Fuel filler there. And there's our cargo space there. And you can fold down the third row flat when the seats are up far enough and then you can have all that additional space and then you get usb chargers on either side with cup holders in that third row there's our dual exhaust there and just one quick look at the back end And there's our manual front passenger seat. Glove compartment with owner's manuals. And let's go ahead and take a look in the engine bay. And there's that 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6, mostly covered up. Let's hop in the driver's seat. So you get a leather wrapped steering wheel, feels really nice. Easy to put my hands. And then over here we do get the upgraded 8 inch screen as part of that convenience and confidence package. AM, FM, XM radio along with Bluetooth audio. And we get wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto compatibility as well. Wi-Fi hotspot. Dual zone automatic climate controls, which we can control from down here. Or we can use the buttons or the touch screen up here, excuse me. And then same knobs and so on down here. Three stage heated seats for the driver front passenger. Two USB-A ports and aux input, 12 volt wireless charging pad. And going back to the screen here, backup camera with guidelines. As I turn the steering wheel, it'll adjust to show you where you're headed. And then you can also have something behind here if you want to, stow behind the screen. 
and then you have your rear climb controls you can control from up here as well now for the nine speed you get a shifter you hit the button back here pull down reverse neutral drive and then you can go into low gear here and then manually shift and it'll show you what gear you're in at the bottom right of the gauge cluster there electronic parking brake pull up to engage and then hit the brake press down to disengage and we do have two drive modes you have your snow mode and then you just have your standard tour mode and then we have our lane keep assist lane departure we can toggle there and our auto stop there center console cubby space removable tray pretty good size and over here to the left side of the steering wheel standard cruise controls forward collision alert gap adjust there cancel set resume and then it's also down and up while you're in cruise mode and then to the right side we have our voice recognition this serves as a mute button and then we have our four arrows and check mark which we can use for the gauge cluster here push button start and here's our key file with remote start universal home remote there premium dome lights one look at the back and now it's time we go ahead and take this 2023 Chevrolet Traverse 1LT cloth out on the road for a quick test drive. So the nine speed shifts very smoothly. I do like that. And I said that in several other reviews I've done with the Traverse, the Acadia, the Blazer. And I like how it actually moves based on how you put your foot to the pedal. So as I come out of this corner here, it'll stay in the higher gear as I put my foot down and it won't shift as easily. But a really good driving feel so far. brakes are very strong as well and just love how quiet the engine is under just normal acceleration when I put my foot into it it's still tame it doesn't become overly loud whatsoever Put the cruise on here. We're getting right at 27, 28 miles per gallon. Even going up the slight incline, it goes down to only about 22. And as we start to level out, you'll see it'll probably get close to 30, maybe a little higher. But not a lot of, I mean, there's wind noise, but I can feel it being deadened by the, the cabin acoustics. Really, really nice sound in here, even though the wind's blowing at, I think, 11, 12 miles per hour. And I'm doing right at 73. But I've said this before about basically every vehicle on this platform really really smooth ride without being numb if that makes sense I still feel like I'm driving a vehicle and not driving something like uh, a Mercedes or something that'll just float and there's the auto stop that came on and overall for this kind of vehicle really like the visibility I have the rear view mirror adjusted. I can see out the rear window just fine. Not huge blind spots with this being a third row vehicle. I can see out of all of those windows with little issue. And of course having the blind spot monitors helps too.
but really just like driving normally when you drive this vehicle normally excuse me it just feels really tame the shifts are almost unnoticeable and I just really like how these ride in general but even this cloth traverse with the convenience and confidence package. I really like all of those features, having the wireless CarPlay, the wireless Android Auto, blind spot monitors. Even having the three-stage heated seats on this cloth feels nice. Just really like how this one is optioned out. And then your automatic high beams are here. I think I forgot to mention that. Windshield wipers are here. Just pull up for intermittent low, high. And then you have your rear wiper here and then you can push back to get the back fluid and then pull up to get the front fluid and then the follow distance indicator I like having that there that'll turn yellow if I get too close to the vehicle in front of me and then the green just shows that I'm a safe distance away And just really not much to complain about. If you're in the market for a vehicle, you have a, let's say two, three kids, maybe more, they'll fit in here no problem. And you have the flexibility of either using your third row for passengers or using it for storage or trunk space. And it's very easy to change between the two. So just really impressed overall. And if you're in the market for a Highlander or Pathfinder, something along those lines, the Ford Explorer, definitely take a look at this as well. But all those are great vehicles too. So with all that being said, this is gonna bring me to the end of my review of the 2023 Chevrolet Traverse 1LT with cloth interior.